For this problem, we have a bacteria in a culture that doubles every half hour. So there's our keyword double, and here is our doubling time every half hour. We're to assume that the culture has 100 bacteria at the start, so that's really important. 100 is the start, and immediately we're recognizing that that is going to be P0, population at time equals 0. And then we are asked, how many hours will it take until the culture has 500,000? So I'm going to start by writing down my model because it's a double of that keyword, P population at some point in time will be starting population times 2. That's the base for doubling with the exponent of T divided by D. D is the doubling time. Filling in the numbers, so this is that P of T population at a later point in time. So 500,000 equals starting population of 100, base of 2, exponent of time, that's not the variable we don't know, that's asking or answering how many hours, and doubling time is every half hour, so I'm going to make that a decimal of 0.5. All right, so let's try to solve for t. We've done a couple of these now, so the first thing that we always do is divide by the starting amount because we can move that to the other side, and that simplifies our equation. These guys cancel, so I put this on my calculator, so I get 5,000 is equal to 2 with an exponent of t over 0.5. Here's where we have the unknown exponent. That's our clue to use a logarithm. We know we have to use a logarithm on both sides. So I have log of 5,000 equals log of 2 with an exponent of t over 0.5. So, <coughs> excuse me, I go to my calculator, I type in log of 5,000, and it gives me 3.6989, and it's 7 there because that doesn't round nice, and then we have a 0, so that rounds. So I used five digits there, and we talked about we definitely need to use at least four. On this side, I want to take my exponent up here and move it to the front as a multiplication problem, thanks to the product property. So t over 0.5, that fraction that used to be the exponent, is going to be multiplied by log 2. And then for my next step, I'm going to take this decimal is equal to t over 0.5 and I'm going to type log 2 in my calculator and get a decimal there and I got 0 0.3010. So now I have to finish solving but once I finish through this logarithm piece everything is either multiplication or division. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 0.5 because that's the opposite of division. So 0.5 on this side as well. These 0.5s cancel. And so doing this side on my calculator gave me 1.8495. And that's equal to t times 0 0.3010. So the next thing I have to do is divide on both sides to get t by itself. So I'll divide by 0.3010. Do the same thing to this side. These guys cancel. And so I have t equals, I type this thing into my calculator, and when I did that, I got very close to 6 hours. So 6 hours. So if I start with 100 bacteria in a certain culture, so like in a dish in a lab with an ideal food source and temperature and all of that, this particular bacteria in the span of six hours would grow to be 500,000. So growing pretty fast. And we have all the algebra in here and we show how to use the logarithm to solve. And we always use that when we don't know the exponent.